Okay. Let's see how this works out. Okay, so you've made the step up from World Series to Formula One now. True. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> of my videos I am full of enthusiasm and don't get me wrong I am absolutely pumped with enthusiasm right now but in equal measures I am also packed with disbelief now here's here's the thing as the title of this video would suggest um, long and short of it is I've been invited to drive a Formula One car and this is not just any Formula One car I had an email from Renault Sport. For those of you who don't know, Renault Sport are predominantly in charge of their F1 program. Uh, and they have invited me to Paul Ricard circuit, which is in France, um, to drive their 2012 E20 naturally aspirated, the V8, the naturally aspirated V8 Formula One car. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I mean, that's the kind of email, I, I don't know what kind of, I don't know. I, don't, I actually don't. I still, I still don't believe it. I'm not sure I'll believe it until I sit in the car, until I'm driving out of the pits. I guess for some people, like I'm likening this to other sports or other industries or passions. Like if you're into football, this might be like having a kickabout with Ronaldo. Or if you're into music, it's like rehearsing with Jay-Z. It's that magnitude for me, for my interests, from a petrol head, there kind of really is nowhere else to go. I mean, it really is up there with, it's the astronaut getting a chance to go to space. For me, anyway, it's the top of the tree. I'm getting goosebumps just talking about it. So today, I wanted to help maximize my time with that car. One company stood out that came highly recommended from people on Twitter and just generally on the intersphere um, and these guys are called base performance simulators and they're based in Oxfordshire and that's where we're heading right now to get some time in a single seater simulator to see what this whole downforce disproportionate power to weight ratio formula experience is all about and then later on I've got some phone calls with very interesting people from the Formula One world to give me some extra tips and some extra layer of depth as to maximize my potential in an F1 car. I cannot believe those words are coming out of my mouth. Okay, so I've arrived at base performance. You wouldn't believe it, but in this building here, in the middle of the countryside, in the middle of nowhere, in Oxfordshire, is one of the most advanced training simulators in the country. <laughs> Let's, let's head inside and check it out. Look, it's set up in a full motion rig. We should be able to sort of get a bit better feel for cambers, weight transfer. Look at these, these big hydraulic jacks they have here. A serious piece of kit. So one of the things that we don't do with the um, with the motion platform is try and simulate uh, the full the G force uh, yeah, sure. of the car because you, you can't simulate 5, 6 G no. uh, with a motion yeah. platform. Mad experience. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yep, so you can adjust the pedals, these two. Lying down. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. This is the craziest thing. Absolutely mad.
intense, you know? Yeah. Warming the brakes will help warm the tyres as well because the heat will radiate out from the brakes. But okay. So you've got to, and with carbon brakes as well, they yeah. won't work very well when they're cold. No. So yeah, you've got to be on it. Yeah. Yeah. I'll let you know when we get on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cool. Well, th thanks very much. It's been eye opening, actually. Excellent. Really, really cool. Well, uh, hopefully yeah. helpful. It's been, absolutely, so. without a doubt. That's super cool. We're yeah. to see you. Thanks a lot, man. Yeah, it'd be awesome. Right, thank you. I cannot tell you how... Uh, I'm so shocked at how intense just the simulator was. Beforehand, I was really looking forward to getting in that F1 car. Now I'm absolutely bricking it. <laughs> um, anyway, got some phone calls from some very interesting people later to uh, help with my induction to F1. Okay. I mean, okay. You can approach simulators in one of two ways. They're like glorified next level video games or they're truly valuable driving tools. Um, I came away today with the latter also having the utmost respect for simulator time, particularly the single-seater experience. Um, it is so much more intense than you would think, rightly or wrongly. From the outside, you would look at it and think, kind of like a posh arcade. What do you get in it? It's an attack, man. Like, I came out of there sweating. The room was boiling. Your concentration, you're working on your lines, your braking points. You know, when you're in a downforce car, you don't brake anything like you do in a road car. You slam on the brakes and then you gradually bleed off. Uh, it's a very different discipline entirely. You know, I don't, I don't race Formula One cars, so all of this info that I'm getting back from this, for me, is invaluable. I'm not going to have too much time in this car. As far as I'm concerned, it's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, and I want to nail it, you know? I'm not here to set lap records. I want to get it round, smooth and swift, to be able to feel the downforce, and most importantly, relay that experience to you. Anyway, we now got a phone call with... Bruno Senna, so let's pull over, see what he has to say. And then uh, in the F1 car, man, just uh, just enjoy it because it's going to be very hard for you to find <laughs> the limit of the car. The, the jump of performance is so huge. Yeah. You're just going to have to uh, to like get used to the tunnel vision of the acceleration and especially the braking because the braking is insane. The clutch on the actual steering wheel. Yeah, so you have uh, three pedals on the back of the steering wheel normally, three or four on the back each side. Uh -huh. And uh, the easiest way to, to go about it is that you you find the bite point of the clutch. So you just kind of like slowly uh, depress the, 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 the lowest pedal uh -huh. and until the car starts moving. But the tendency for everybody is to continue like releasing it and then the car will go into anti-stall. Okay. So try to just kind of like get it rolling and just keep it there for a little while. Okay. And then when the car is actually starting to gain some momentum, some momentum then, you, then you can release it a bit more but it's up to me to like grow some balls and be able to use some downforce in order to keep some heat um you know on the rear tires they really don't lose so much heat if you're if you're going full throttle if uh -huh. you're like actually using the throttle they don't lose so much temperature the fronts end up losing temperature if you don't break late and attack the corners that's pretty normal so mm -hmm. um the way that it's gonna go is that you're gonna sort of like break a bit earlier because yeah. I just have no idea where the brakes are supposed For sure. to be pressed. Uh, but you see, like, on, on the first lap, everything will feel really alien because the car is so sharp. Okay. The one car is so sharp. The steering <laughs> movements are small, and then the car is just really going in all directions. Okay. And then you sort of like, okay, you, you, you adjust to the rate of the steering, uh -huh. and then you can start, like, braking. But make sure that you, you know, be confident on the brakes. You see, sure. if, even if you brake early uh -huh. once, uh -huh. uh, because it doesn't matter, just make sure you brake hard yeah. so that you get a feel for what the brakes can do because really that's the hardest part. Braking is so, so far ahead of anything else you would have driven <laughs> by, by now yeah. that you, you'd be braking 150 meters too early. Wow. Okay. It doesn't matter what kind of track car you've experienced. Obviously, this even braking points, totally next level. Yeah. Man, but the braking is the single most impressive thing about the Formula 1 car. <laughs> is it really? Is unbelievable. Okay, cool. Well, thanks so much. I really appreciate it. I might drop you a few more texts between now and then. 
It's just a massive experience, dude. Unbelievable. It's really, really exciting. So I'll let you know it. how it goes. You'll love it. Trust me. Fantastic. Dude, I really appreciate it. Um, enjoy. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I shall speak to you soon. Take care, Thanks mate. a lot, buddy. It's starting to get real now. It's starting to sink in. I fly in a few days to Marseille and then transfer over to Paul Ricard, where it's, yeah, going to immerse myself in the F1 experience. As always, the honor and privilege to be able to share this experience with you uh, is oxygen to me. Like, it is everything to have this opportunity. I have to thank you massively because if it wasn't for you guys being such engaging, brilliant, beautiful, sexy, wonderful subscribers, uh, the chances are I wouldn't have been graced with this phenomenal opportunity. So as always, I'm going to do my very best to share every step of the way with you and today is the first day simulator training with base performance thanks for watching i'll see you next time ciao